Hi, um, my name is Kenam Sanut, and I've been a member of Asaraset Society for 20 years now. And my name is Kedanen Chayas, and I have been a member of Asaraset for the past 22 years. Uh, we're doing this video because we felt like we needed to address um, some falsehoods around the statements that were made by Sheree Masu regarding uh, Ronald Nefron men in a video that she and her husband recently posted about their exit from a Sarasat. And some allegations she made in the beginning of the video regarding Ronald Nefron men romantically pursuing her. Um, her credibility is uh, greatly compromised by the falseness of her allegations. And also in agreeing with her husband on video that Ron Nefra Men and Shechem Bakenti psychically attacked her baby. Um, she's been in this society long enough, 16 years, uh, to know through her experiences and everything that she has learned that such practices and that uh, those moral flaws, they're just not true. Um, you know, I remember meeting Sheree Masu when the Asuracent Temple was moving out of 508 um, Flatbush to 626 Flatbush. Um, but it wasn't until 626 that our friendship really blossomed, which is the location that she referenced in her video. So I also became friends with Sheree Masu at 626 Flatbush through Hetero Healing Dance. Um, we were both hetero healers and we would go on tour, we would do plays, we would dance together and we became very close. I considered her to be one of my best friends. We hosted each other's baby shower. We celebrated our birthdays together. Our sons played together. We were very, very close. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can attest to that. And... You know, over the years, um, Kanasin and I have been privy to specific details shared directly um, with us by Sheree Masu and witnessed by us collectively and separately. Um, you know, but I, I just, I have to say this. Um, we pledge to each other to stand on the laws and live in truth in all we do and to hold each other accountable to that pledge. So that is what Kanamsen and I are doing today. Um, we would like to shed some light on, some light and truth on the details omitted in the video that created a very one-sided narrative regarding her conduct with Ron Nefra men. Okay, so first thing I'd like to address is that in the video, Sheree Masu stated that Shechem and Shechem was pursuing her and that she was not interested in Shechem and Shechem. Okay, so this is 100% false. I personally know for a fact that Sheree Masu was pursuing Shechem and Shechem heavily, like heavily, and she wanted to be a part of his family. She spoke about him all of the time. That was the number one topic of conversation, the Shechem of Shechem. Yeah, I mean, I was also aware of this same interest in uh, Rana Fremen, and this was the hot topic with us uh, when we spoke about relationships. Um, but to add to that, also her desire to be in polygamy. Uh, this was something she spoke of often with me. Um, Shechem of Shechem being her primary target uh, for this, like, she wanted to be in polygamy and she wanted to be in his family. And polygamy was something that she saw that was for her. Um, but as far as her not being romantically interested in him, that uh, couldn't be furthest from the truth because I distinctly recall a conversation that she and I had at one of our annual retreats. Um, and Sharima Su shared with me a very intimate, detailed and vividly visceral account of her romantic and sexual fantasies she was having about Shechem Shechem Ron Nefra men. So for her to 
get on her video and say she had no interest, um, it's just simply not true. Uh, it, it's not true at all. So she would she would also complain a lot about not being able to get into a mate relationship. Mm -hmm. So what we did, we rallied together to manifest our husbands because I wanted to find a mate as well. And we would constantly be over at her house meditating to visualize us getting into mate relationships. She would come to my house, uh, same. I would go to hers. Uh, she would sometimes be very emotional about the fact that she still had not found a husband. Um, a lot of crying and complaining. Uh, so, you know, I also offered to work with her and meditate and we actually all worked together, the three of us. Um, yeah. It was just something that we did. Uh, but uh, it's coming to me, I want to touch on just another kind of fact about 626. And that is that Whenever she was at the temple, um, she was very giggly and bubbly every time she saw Shekham Shekham. Uh, she would sit and stare at him often. Um, it was obvious that she was enamored with him. I mean, I know that we were not the only ones who saw this behavior because it was so evident by, by many. Yeah, so I mean... You know, the fact that you you always put yourself in front of him and then you could sit here and state that Shechem was, Shechem was trying to block you from being in a, in a relationship, you know, um, that's not true either because you you pursued relationships in a Sara set. <laughs> many. You many relationships in a Sara set. You know, there was no blockage. You pursued no. families for polygamy in the community. And I know that it made a lot of the women, a lot of the wives uncomfortable that you were pursuing their husbands. Um, I spoke to a couple of them and they didn't really care for that. And I know that she really wanted to have a baby. And that was something that was probably driving why she was, you know, so much, so persistent in pursuing these families. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the baby. Um, that was really a big deal for her. Um, yeah. She constantly referenced to me about her biological clock running out and the fact that she was entering into her 30s. She had no mate. She had no baby. Um, this was really a problem for her. And it, it caused her a lot of angst. Um, but she always still expressed interest in Shechem Shechem and Ron Neframan. Um, even after her attempts with other families didn't pan out, it seemed that she just redirected her energy and her attention. It's like she never really stopped. She maybe it took a pause, but <laughs> then she went right back to it. Yeah. Um, okay, so I I remember her telling me that she was going to present readings on the proposal of her entering into Shechem Shechem. Shechem and Shechem's family, Ron Nefamlin's family. And I remember her constantly talking about how her children would be geniuses and musically inclined and so spiritual if she was to have children with Shechem and Shechem. It was, it was something that she really wanted. She really wanted to be a part of his family. Yeah, that um, she really did. And I recall, um, you know, some of those conversations as well, but you know, to go back into the video where she stated that he was too old. Um, but I know for a fact that she was so into him and wanted a baby that it didn't matter to her that he was in his 70s. Um, that was never something that she said, never something she articulated. Uh, his age was never a factor. Yeah. Um, I spoke to Sheree Masu after... Well, I spoke to her before she presented the readings and I spoke to her after and um, she presented the readings to Shechem Shechem and she told me that he said, he said no. He said that he did not want to bring her into his family and she told me that she broke, she broke down and in an effort to console her, he 
gave her a kiss on the hand. So, you know, she never ever spoke about inappropriate behavior by Shechem and Shechem. You know, she was just disappointed that he did not accept her proposal. So for you to, for you to turn around and say that the man kissed you and not specify where he kissed you, like you, you're trying to do something here and it's just not right. Yeah, I mean, if, if we look at certain facts and point out these truths, um, the fact that she omitted where the kiss was placed, um, the context uh, in which he even had, was in a position to kiss her hand, her emotional response, uh, you know, was basically around her, van her advances, um, her feelings not being reciprocated. Um, she claims that Ron Ephraim and that Shechem Shechem was blocking her from relationships. How how can that be? Uh, because Shechem Shechem counseled her and her, you know, then soon to be husband um, when he was only known to her and the society for about a month. And that was in order for her to have a husband and children because. That was her gripe. She always talked about running out of time. And when she got with her husband, she was so excited. And, you know, even though, again, uh, she went about it the way that she did, Shechem Shechem still extended and spoke with her and her mate and did not block them from joining. Um, and expedited them, and, them coming together. Yeah, so that she can. So 